I would say Mandy's a typical teenager. Then she's got her friends and she's got school dances and she loves her trumpet, but does she want to practice it? No. I've been playing it since fourth grade and really it was the only thing I could actually play. The trombone was just thick. My tiny little arms couldn't play it. I actually have a t-shirt that says, I'm not small, I'm fun sized. She didn't crawl. She didn't walk until she was two or just shy of two. It was right around there that we realized that there were things wrong with her neck. Amanda has skeletal dysplasia. Chondrodysplasia punctata. She had this big long thing that I thought sounded African. Everything other than her eyesight that we've run into um, is all due to her dwarfism. The uh, bones are causing uh, significant changes in the normal curvature of the spine and this can be dangerous if the spinal cord gets compressed. And we've had to have Amanda wear a collar to keep her neck basically in a straight position so that her spinal cord doesn't get damaged. And so uh, now our, our plan is to do a, a pretty big fusion from the uh, upper cervical spine through the mid thoracic spine. And then put in fixation devices like wires, screws and rods to hold everything together in the most secure, safest way possible so that she doesn't have to wear the collar, she has full activity without any restrictions and can do the things we want children to do, which is run around without worrying about having to damage her neck or spinal cord. We can put in screws um, through the back into the vertebral body just like this mm -hmm. um, using the image guidance in the new operating room. What's different with what we can do at CSI is we can use small screws that are safe to use in the human body but not designed for small children with dwarfism conditions. But put them exactly where we need them. And then make sure that the spinal cord and nerve roots are not injured prior to closing everything up. CSI allows us to do the surgery as safely as possible and get her to recover as quickly as possible without more surgery down the road. They say when this is all said and done, when the collars are gone and the bones are all healed, everything's going to open back up for her. I hope that really comes to fruition. I hope that's the way it all works out. That they don't get in there and find something they're not expecting. I think that's my biggest fear.